The hottest new spot for stars isn't an L.A. nightclub. It's a University of Colorado football game. Deion Sanders. He's got the, the country caring about a football team that nobody cares about. Yes, the Pro Football Hall of Famer took over this year as coach of Colorado's football program, and it's all anyone can talk about. Why? Because last season they were really, really terrible. Deion Sanders comes in, recruits all these players, transfer from other universities to Colorado, and suddenly they're winning every game in spectacular fashion. And now it's the hot spot to be for celebrities. When you go to these games, there are so many celebrities there. He had Little Wayne there, Master P, Kawhi Leonard, Desi Banks, like Offset was there. The Rock was there. <laughs> There's a joke there about the Rockies, but we don't know what it is. But Dion's not just bringing stars, he's bringing money. Here's Dion, right? Dion <laughs> likes his sunglasses, wears hats. So the Colorado State uh, head coach, their rival, uh, Jay Norville, he said that uh, something to the effect of, I'm an adult, so I take off my hat and sunglasses when I talk to other adults. Dion is such a, a showman that he starts selling sunglasses that day and sold $1.2 million worth of sunglasses oh after that guy made that comment. And by the way, they beat Colorado State this weekend with the help of Dion's son. He also put his own son as the starting quarterback and he's getting a lot of controversy. But he's incredible! Who says nepotism doesn't pay off? So he could make a fortune in this. Nick Saban, the coach of Alabama, makes almost 12 mil a year. Thank God, because Dion's only reportedly worth around $45 million right now. Good luck, Buffaloes!